Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we have new comic book day pickups. There's a lot of books in there. Uh, I think there's 12 books in here. But first, before we get started, I'm just going to take a little sip of coffee. Got McDonald's coffee here. Very good. All right, guys. Now we're all set. We got our books here. Brand new day or brand new comic book day. Very excited. Like I was saying, there's 12 books in here. I think only six of them are like actual new releases and the rest are like uh, pretty much just cover buys because that's teasing too much. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to pull them out one by one and uh, set it on the side here. Uh, yeah, I got a little poster thing. It's just like a little uh, checklist. I'm not really into DC, but like uh, here I'll show it off anyways. Batman, The Dark Knight. Uh, Issue 9 something something. Anyways, there's that. A little poster with like a little checklist on the back too. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not really into DC. I'm probably not going to pick up any of these books. But it's a cool looking poster anyways. It's pretty cool. Not too sure who did the art on that. That was Andy, Co Andy Kubert. That's cool. That's that's a really nice cover. But yeah, that's really cool. Set that there. Alright, let's get into the book. Alright, so this is a cover by, and uh, pretty much I just wanted like the Alex Ross timeless covers. Like I originally got Daredevil, and uh, that was a real, that was like my most favorite one, and I love that one a lot. And uh, I didn't really want to get the other ones, but then I'm like, they just look so cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna start getting just my favorite ones now, like my super favorites. And, uh, yeah, I got the Spider-Man here. Uh, I don't remember which cover. Oh, this is issue 50. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really cool. Uh, wasn't too big of a fan because I find it so dark in this corner. You don't really see his, uh, costume very well. You can kind of see it, but, like, it's super dark. Like, it's more dark on camera. Like, in person, it's actually, you can see the red. But, like, on camera, even, like, on pictures online... It's kind of hard to see the red, but it looks a lot better in person. But, uh, yeah, I'm just not a fan of the pose either. Like, it looks like he's trying to pick up something super heavy. It's kind of weird. I wish he was kind of, like, doing, like, a normal straight pose, you know? But, like, it's so cool. I had to pick it up. That's it, Spider-Man. And, uh, all right, picking up. Oh, this is a brand new book from today. Uh, it's the King in Black Handbook, which is pretty much just a handbook about the little event that's going on king in black and uh yeah i pretty much just picked it up because i thought it was really cool that like it's showing like for instance here it has like carnage it also has like dylan brock uh right here and then like at the bottom it'll show like their stats kind of like a video game almost like it'll say intelligence their strength is like two stars the speed is two stars it's pretty cool and uh yeah it's pretty neat that it's like there for each character like carnage has his little uh little stats like his intelligence is like two strength is like a six out of seven that's pretty cool but uh yeah it's pretty interesting in that i wasn't gonna originally pick it up but when i was flipping through it it looked really cool with like all that like video game kind of style stats it looked pretty neat oh okay this is cool this was like my number one want out of the new releases today uh, it is Demon Days X-Men by Peach Momoko, who did the writing and the, uh, and the drawing or the art. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. I love that cover that she did. Like, it's so, I just love it a lot. This is awesome. This is the main cover A. Uh, I think there is a cover B. There's an art germ cover. I know that's really cool, too. Uh, but they did not have that in stock at my L LCS. But, uh, yeah, this is really sweet. I love this a lot. It's very, very well done. Look how cool that art is right there guys but uh, yeah apparently it's like one shots and uh yeah it's like one shots but like not monthly like the next one you can see uh comes in june so it's like almost like every two months every three months or so which kind of sucks but like it's almost like a double size issue as well it's a 4.99 book not a 3.99 but yeah i just love that a lot love this cover that's so sick I know there's a lot of Peach Momoko uh, hype now. Like, everyone's in love with her art. Like, she's a big rising star. Uh, 
All right, guys. So this is one that like broke the internet, I guess, or something. Uh, we got Berserker by Keanu Reeves. This is really cool. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much broke the internet because there was that like one in one thousand variant, which is basically the same cover right here, except it was autographed by Keanu Reeves, and uh, that's the only thing that made it different was it was autographed. Same exact cover. It was a one in one thousand variant, and uh, yeah, apparently there was a sold listing online for $2,500 and someone I guess bought one but it's uh kind of crazy but uh, yeah I know apparently the story is really good it's like a lot of action a lot of like blood and violence I guess I can show you guys that right there a lot of blood and violence <laughs> typical like John Wick stuff I guess but uh, yeah it looks so cool like he's like walking with a knife or like a sword like in his chest and he's just like walking forward he has like arrows on his arm too that's crazy but it looks really cool I'm pretty excited to read this book and uh, yeah pretty cool pretty much like a John Wick kind of style almost what we got here another image book or yeah that was Boom Studios this is image uh, but it's a uh, Noctera by Scott Snyder and Tony Daniel uh, I'm pretty sure Scott Snyder is known mostly for Batman and Tony Daniel did art on Detective Comics. That was the last thing I picked up that he did. But uh, yeah, it looks really cool too. Uh, I love Scott Snyder. I love Tony Daniel. So I uh, had to pick this up. Give it a shot. See what it was like. And uh, yeah, pretty excited about this. Because uh, pretty much anything Scott Snyder uh, writes is pretty well done. Like there's nothing, anything bad that he ever does, I don't think. All right, guys, so the next one we have is issue 43 of uh, The Avengers. Part 4 of the Enter Phoenix storyline right here. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. Love this cover where you got the Phoenix coming after a bunch of the Avengers. You got Ghost Rider, Iron Man, Captain Marvel. That's really cool. But uh, yeah, it's really sweet. I think this should be coming to an end soon. I think there's like one more issue. Yeah, the finale is next issue. And that's finally, finally over and onto something new. Alright guys, I think it's my last pickup. Nope, nope. Alright, so this is the second last uh, new book for today. Gwenum vs. Carnage issue number three. This is the final issue in that little three issue limited series. I've been enjoying this a lot. It's really, really cool. You basically got Gwen or Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider, whatever you want to call her fighting Mary Jane from her timeline or universe and Mary Jane has been infected with the Carnage symbiote and uh, it's, really, it's just a lot of fun like it's really really cool how like Mary Jane is like I don't know Carnage it's just really neat and uh, yeah the art is really uh, really good too like it's very like neon colored stuff like that it's really cool though I've been enjoying this series it kind of sucks that it's only three issues should have been five uh, but anyways, pretty excited for that one. And uh, yeah, this is for the Avengers book as well. This just came out today, issue 43 of Avengers. We got the Vision cover. And uh, yeah, this is so cool. I love that pose. It looks so good. I'm excited for it. This is like definitely one of my top wants uh, for the Alex Ross uh, Timeless variant covers for sure. Love that one a lot. It's really, really sweet. All right, guys. Next one is another timeless variant. This is Thor, uh, issue number eight. Uh, there he is there. It's really sweet. I love this one a lot. I love wings on his helmet. Looks so sweet. I'm a big fan of that. This is cool. And I like that, like, on the shelves, they were already in, like, a little bag to protect them. Uh, because it's, like, white background, especially on, like, the Vision uh, cover, because, like... You don't want that to get dirty because it's like it's all white it's gonna like get all smudged and stuff so i really appreciate that they're actually in like bags already on the shelves so we'll set thor over here i think there's like three more maybe yeah oh this one's really cool this is probably i don't know maybe my like top three uh, i just love it a lot like the pose the smile looks so good so we got phoenix right here that is so cool i am pretty excited to get this one I love it a lot. Uh, issue 5 of uh, 
X. Oh my god, let's screw this up. Hellions? Yeah, Hellions right there. So, uh, issue 5 of Hellions. Right there, you got Phoenix. So cool. Love the hair, the smile, the eyes. Everything about it is so cool. I love it a lot, that hair. <laughs> That's cool. Alrighty, guys. Next one, we have Strange Academy, uh, issue number four. We got Scarlet Witch. I already have this one, but uh, it just looks so cool. And there's already like two on the shelves when I was there today. So I was like, I don't mind picking up an extra one. This is so cool. I love it a lot. She looks so good. I love the eyes, the smile. This is so good. He did a really great job on these covers. Like, I'm impressed. All right, last one is Doctor Strange, uh, another Strange Academy book. This is issue number three. And uh, yeah, there you go. You got Strange. Oh, I love the pose with the hands and everything. It looks so good. It looks so lifelike. It's so good. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video, my new comic book day haul. It is a pretty long one. Uh, but yeah, I got 12 bucks today. A lot of them, I think pretty much half were old and half were new. Uh, but yeah, my pick of the week would probably be uh, my most wanted book was probably Berserker. Uh, mostly because of just of the hype around like Keanu Reeves writing a comic book and like it's almost like a John Wick style of violence in it. So that's probably going to be my pick of the week. And uh, yeah, pretty excited to get it. And uh, also the Demon Days right here, the X-Men Demon Days. That looks so cool. Love that art. Love that cover. Yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you picked up for New Comic Book Day in the comments down below. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, thanks so much again for watching. Uh, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.